All right, so I want to talk about Ice Cube with this whole uh, this whole uh, thing that's going on with him and the uh, the contract with Black America, the whole thing about him meeting President Trump, and then he actually went to see the Democratic Party first, and then they turned him away, or they said, "Hey, we're interested, but after the election, okay." So the Trump admi admin, they say, hey man, I see you got some, you wanna, you wanna take a seat, we can talk about it. They brought him in and then they took some of his ideas and put him to the, uh, what is it, platinum plan? All right, so that's there. And now everybody hates Ice Cube because he wants the best for black America and everybody else is complaining and going on Twitter and talking about stuff. Like, I'm not going to name any names, but you know the guys, they go on Twitter, they just, oh, Ricky's racist, and they complain on Twitter, oh, black people are being oppressed, and they putting on Twitter, and, but this man, Ice Cube, actually wrote up something and presented it to the left and the right, and he's receiving backlash for that. Meanwhile, everybody's at home on the computers, just, hey, look, all I got to say is this. Shout out to Ice Cube, man. This guy, he went out there, and first, he don't like neither two parties. He don't, he don't like none of them. You know, he said it. He said it himself in the video, in throughout his music, throughout the years. This guy doesn't condone. He don't like politics. He don't like none of that crap. Because obviously, both left and right, they're corrupt. Let's get that straight. But he actually wrote up a plan, and he went to everybody. You know, you. <laughs> The majority of black people are Democrats, but he went to the Democratic Party first, and they turned him away. They say, "Hey, uh, shoo, shoo, we'll talk later. Go, go." Trump, the red team, they put him in, sat him down. They took his thing and put him in the platinum plan. Why are you mad at the guy? He's trying to help you. <laughs> He's trying to help you and us and me. Obviously, I'm thinking I'm black, just wearing shirts. He's trying to help us live in a better America for black people. He's put, his, he's put his neck out there for you. And then people want to, you know, cancel him? Like, I don't get that. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't get that. This whole thing with cancel culture, this behavior, this toxic behavior, it's like, man, I don't, I don't see what he did was wrong just because he sat down with the Trump and he called him racist. Uh, Trump is, I don't want to get into that. That's a different story. But Ice Cube, shout out to you. I'm going to make this video short. <laughs> Ice Cube, shout out to you, man. You did a good thing. I, I'm with you, brother, on that. Um... I wish more black celebrities would do this. <laughs> like, instead of going on Twitter and like, <laughs> meanwhile, you're buying a house, you know, you're buying a house in white California and white Beverly Hills, you're complaining about other things like, man. Oh, man, it's crazy. The world is definitely crazy, bro. The world is crazy, man. But at least Ice Cube was the only one that I've seen so far that actually did something and presented it to these candidates or these parties. Anybody else wants to complain, and they're mad at him because he took a step forward. They didn't want—they want you to be quiet. They didn't want you to talk because they—they they, these people that are at the top, they didn't want you to succeed, man. They—they probably—they driving us. They, you know what? Forget it. That's a, that's another video. Ice Cube, shout out to you. If you guys leave a little comment in the comment box below, let me know what you think. Subscribe. I might dive into more political videos. I don't know, man. I just thought I'd just talk about it. It's been bothering me since this happened. That's the video, guys. Peace. Stay strong.